Boom. All right, ladies and gentlemen, finally the 500 JBF capacity oven is ready. Yeah, let's just have a little view of how the surrounding looks like. Oh. All right, that's exactly how it looks like. All right, so straight away, let's go into the inside. But before the inside, this is your oven thermometer, okay? Of course, it's calibrated between um, zero degrees Celsius down to um, what value do you have here? That should be 300 degrees Celsius. And that's 600 Fahrenheit. All right, so first you have to get it open from both sides here. And then open from here as well. Sorry for the noise you hear. We are in a very busy place. Boom, ladies and gentlemen, this is the masterpiece. This is 500 capacity JBF oven. This job belongs to Mr. Boniface. Yeah, Mr. Boniface happens to be very lucky because this is an upgraded version of the 500 capacity JBF oven. And this is how the masterpiece looks like. All right, let's go quickly and review what is there. First, you have your pair of insulated thermal gloves. You find them always available with our oven free of charge. And inside you find a receipt. Oh, it's not in this one. All right, here is the receipt. So Mr. Boniface, your receipt is here. Um, this oven is actually going to Enugu first thing tomorrow morning. All right, so this is your receipt, Mr. Boniface. So anytime you harvest your oven at the ABC terminal, you can just pick it from inside this uh, pair of gloves. Hmm? I'll have to put them there so that uh, it can be free from any form of uh, disappearance. All right. So if you check your charcoal collector, they are all Nero stainless material. Then you have another one. What you have here are simply uh, for aesthetic purposes. All you need to do is to take them and put them at the bottom of the leg and let it stand just to make it look beautiful. And then these are your flame controllers. What you have here are your valves for your burner. I'm going to show you how to fasten it and how to install it at the end of the day. This is your charcoal collector. There are two of them and they are all made up of mirror stainless material. Then at the bottom you find your cookers. You know, we have two cookers here and each of them are suspended just above ground level. I hope you can see that. Now the reason why it has to be above ground level is to avoid heat conduction. By the time they make direct contact with the oven, the walls of your oven gets hot and at the end of the day, you lose more heat than preserved heat in the oven. So that is the beauty of this. You can actually use the two together or you can use one after another, depending on the capacity you want. And it is designed such that you can use your charcoal collectors and your gas burners simultaneously. And that gives you a maximum heating ability. That is one thing you find with the JBF oven, which you cannot find somewhere else and if you see it anywhere just know that it has been copied from this amazing channel because this is our own intellectual property all right next we go to the oil collectors the oil collectors they are all made up of mirror stainless material now watch the oil collector is made up of a slot here this slot will help you gather out your oil the drying process and as well liquids that may come out during the drying process so it has slots you can find at the bottom so the two of them are mirror and you see that hole over there that is exactly where it's going to pass through all right and then next you have your rags each of these rags has a capacity of 25 fish and we have how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rags same here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten rags making a total of 20 rags and 20 times 25 is 500 capacity all right without forgetting what you have there is the chimney we have two chimneys for this capacity the reason for the chimney is to help communication between the oven and the outside the oven it helps oxygen to get into the oven to enhance combustion and as well it helps excess heat to escape out of the oven while the drying process is taking place so that you don't just have a bunch of rain all right so the doors are double padded double padded doors and of course, the thermals, uh, the handles never get hot. Oh yes, it is designed in such a way that these handles can never get hot. No matter the internal temperature of your oven. So what you see here are the chimneys. This is the first chimney. And then this is the second chimney. So let's go straight at the back. 
Boom. So now we are at the back. This is the slot where you can gather your oil. You can have a container just here and it gathers it for you. And of course, this is where you control your flame. You slot your flame controller, slot your gas uh, valve, and that will help you control your flame. Remember, if you close this outlet, you see here there's a hole in between. If you close this hole, it gives you blue flame. If you open, it gives you yellow flame. So any of the flames you wish to dry with, you can always make use of. But be rest assured that blue flame burns faster than yellow flame. All right, so that is the outlet for your gas burner. And then this is another outlet for your oil collector. You have two outlets because this is 500 capacity. Any capacity below 500 is just one outlet for the oil collector. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the masterpiece, the 500 capacity JBF oven. And this masterpiece is going to Enugu State first thing tomorrow morning. So, Mr. Boniface, your job is ready. And we are going straight to ABC Terminal to have it delivered. All right, thank you for watching. This is Julie Benfish Academy. Boom. All right, so I think we have just gotten to ABC Terminal. So, at this point, we have to dismantle everything.